<laughs> Yo, we're back. Curse of the Dead Gods. I had a blast playing this like a year ago when it hit early access. Now it's coming out, full release, heaps of new stuff. I haven't played it since then, so we're just going to jump in. I'm going to take out this full line of bosses in this video. That might be too easy, it might be a mistake, I don't know. But yeah, thank you Focus Home Interactive for sponsoring this video. Check out the link down below. Go pick it up. This is a great game, baby. And if you did miss the first video, and you have no idea what's going on, Curse of the Dead Gods is a tough-as-nails roguelike. Think of, uh, like, Darkest Dungeon meets Hades. I think it's the best way to, to describe it. We're on weapon. We, we need a new weapon. I love new weapon. Man, it's been a while. Uh, you gotta light these things up, otherwise you start going insane, you take more damage, you start getting cursed, corrupted. Also, I'm gonna be shockingly awful at this game now. <laughs> I remember last last year I was so good at it, but now, oh. Okay, no one look at my health, okay? 425 out of 1,000? Jeez. This is like the 50th room I've been in. All brutal battles, okay? It's not the first room. Shut up. Alright, we chose a weapon room. We beat the room, we get a weapon. Uh, the bad news is we don't have any gold. The good news is we can just curse ourselves and uh, take one of these weapons anyway. I'm thinking lightning two-handed hammer with 48 damage, so we just cut our hand open, take on a curse, that's why it's called Curse of the Dead God. Oh my god, this is so overpowered. Have I done it again? Am I gonna beat the game again? What do we got? Healing? Healing, healing, and gold. We're taking the healing path. Because of my pathetic gameplay so far. So many damn curses in this game, you never know what you're gonna get, it's like a lucky dip. Urns no longer contain gold, but are filled with blood. Blood heals, but inflects corruption! Look, honestly, as far as curses go, that's not too bad. Holy God, I've never seen that before. I've never been in this temple. Well, last time I played it, there was only one temple, the first one. I should have gone back to that one, eh? Ah! Deadly Obsession. So this is like a 15-year-old boy when they find a new female Twitch streamer to watch. Okay, first boss, we got three curses to our name. Oh god, but we do have that lightning hammer, which has carried me so hard so far. <laughs> it's so good. How does this keep happening? I think this happened last time. I found a real good weapon. All right, let's do this. Yeah, not this time, Palpatine. He's bloody done it. Seven health remaining. Deathless run. So far, so good. Ooh. Okay, a lot of this is new. I remember this part. Choose active blessing. So you can, it's like a passive thing that you can take throughout every run. That you, you know, you get these skulls from the bosses and enemies. I remember this from last time. But all this other stuff, forsaken weaponry, weapon altars, divine favors. I don't remember any of this at all. Unlock weapons to find throughout the temple. There's that storm hammer I found before. <laughs> I need another one. Alright, that's one down, baby. Next up, we'll do this other new one, I reckon. Bewitch Catacombs. Miyazaki's gonna be loving this poison swamp bollocks. Got it. So each, obviously each place has different enemies. I don't know what any of these little fuckers do. Oh my god, he killed himself. Yeah! Okay, that's a trap. That's fine. I know about the traps now. I know about these Medusa guys, uh, everything is fine. The trap can hurt the enemies, which is also very good. It's dark in- Ooh, 250 max health, not bad, but try 250 max health and 25% treasure find. <laughs> what are these? Oh, oh, come on, they reached that far, you stupid vines. I don't remember this either, these are relics. I mean, they could have been, it's been a year, okay? Give me, cut me some slack. We're taking 33% healing. Right, we got a lot of healing effects. <laughs> uh, we got the codex as well, which like counts up all the things you've killed. <clears throat> Very familiar. I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. Oh god! Look at all these slugs! And they will explode! Get back. We make like a chain chain reaction here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, pretty good run so far, but we need a good weapon to really top this off. Oh my god! 10% of damage is also, also heals you. And it's gonna stack with all those healing effects I have. Oh, this... This is over. This is over. Nothing can hurt me! Nothing can hurt me! Look at my health! The... The... Bruh. <laughs> Be 
honest. Kind of feel bad for that boss. Didn't stand a chance. To be fair, it was like a curse boss that tries to ruin your further runs. But because this is like these are like the first floors, it doesn't matter because it, it ends now until you do it again. Alright, final run. So we can do these next floors and you gotta beat the first boss and then the second boss and it continues all the way up to the top there. Those those scare me a little bit. I've never seen those bosses in my life. We're gonna do this one. This was a little too easy for a, for a god like me. But you know, you never know. Maybe maybe one day we'll return. Alright, here we go. Last one for the video. If I don't die, yeah, at least I have to click the link in the description, okay? <laughs> at least click it. Come on! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh! Wait, there's gold back there. Let me go back. Ah. Oh. Oh, come over here, baby. <laughs> so this is the uh, this is the temple we did, or the level we did in um, back in the early access video. Don't remember these possessor guys. Quit, quit buffing, quit buffing, you son of a gun. Greed kill. Greed. Oh, I was really hoping for like a big hammer, maybe a big storm hammer or a blood sword. We'll give the spear a shot. Here you go. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Okay, the spear isn't bad. It misses that swing though. And it also doesn't like stun lock them, which is very bad for me. Dodging is not my forte. By the way, I haven't shown it because I'm not good enough, but there's, there's a riposte, there's a perfect dodge, there's a block, there's a stamina system for rolling and using strong attacks. But all I've, I'm like, ba ba, big hammer go woof. We got a refresh. I forgot about the refresh system! Store. Let's take the whip, baby. This is it. Gold punch each. Door imposes a payment of 300 gold. Ah, oh, come on. What? Ah! I remember this guy. Capra Demon! Yeah! Oh man, I can do this. <laughs> I hope. There we go, no deaths, baby. Let's go. You owe me a click in the link in the description. <laughs> this one-sided deal that you didn't agree to. Man, what a game. There we go. Unlocked all tier twos. Let's check this out. Oh, baby, look at that. Those now doing those without deaths. That might be a little bit bit tougher. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, let me. Let me know below. Go pick up Curse of the Dead Gods. It's actually a really good game. I don't. I get sponsor deals sent to me every single day, and as you can see, I, I don't take many of them. So when I do, you know it gets my seal of approval, baby. Thank you for watching. See you soon with Bioshock Infinite.